Good morning, teacher. I'm Frank, and today I will be your guide through Carlos's blog, Teacher Effectiveness. Episode 2, Carlos unearthed his mother's old journal in the basement. Conflicts in their family begin to unfold as he turns the pages of his mother and father's past. Carlos discovers that his father used to be an alcoholic. While Carlos faces his own dilemma at home, they were tasked to come up with a story to be presented as a play in school. The second episode of Carlos's blog aims to identify and explain the elements of a drama. It also shows how the elements interplay and create a unique expression of human experience. It also tackles alcoholism, the reason why people drink, and its negative effects in the society. Now, to warm up the discussion, the teacher may pose these questions on the board. When we say element of drama, what does element mean? Why is it important to identify its elements to understand drama? The teacher may proceed with asking the students what elements of drama they still remember. The students may give the common answers like setting, characters, plot, theme, and conflict since they have encountered these words from the previous episode. The teacher then explains that these are the elements of drama and that the elements refer to the basic principles of drama, which students must learn first to fully understand and appreciate drama both as a subject and performance. For the students to fully understand the importance of the elements, the teacher may instruct them to take note of their understanding on the elements of the drama. After the video, the teacher may then engage the students in a discussion or an activity to further the learning process. The teacher may ask the students to do this activity on the board. The teacher may ask these guide questions in order to help the students identify each element. Setting Character Analysis Plot Conflict Now that all the elements are identified, the suggested activity is to explain the elements of drama through a table, like this one. Create a table with three columns. Label each column. First column as element. Second column for definition. And third column for example. Provide rows for each element of the drama. The teacher may ask the students to fill in the blank spaces to complete the table to encourage critical thinking. There is an interesting plot in every good story. The teacher may use Freytag's pyramid in discussing the plot. Freytag's pyramid is a diagram of the structure of a five-act tragedy given by Gustav Freytag. Exposition is the introductory material which often creates the tone 
gives the setting, introduces the characters, and supplies other facts necessary for understanding. Inciting moment is the event or force that sets in motion the rising action of a work of fiction. Rising action is the part of the dramatic action that has to do with the complication of the action. Begins with the inciting moment, gains interest or power as the opposing groups or ideas come into conflict, and proceeds to the climax. Climax is the turning point in the action, the crisis at which the rising action reverses and becomes the falling action. Falling action follows the climax and often exhibits the winding down of the climax. Resolution is the end of the falling action and the solution of the conflict. The resolution is not always a happy ending. The Noma involves not only the resolution of the conflict, but an explanation of all the secrets and misunderstandings connected with the plot. After an easy exercise of recalling facts, the teacher may deepen comprehension by asking this question. How do the elements work together to create a unique and artistic drama? For evaluation, the teacher may divide the class into groups and ask them to write a short script about the episode's critical issue. Elements of drama should also be identified. This activity develops the following. The teacher may now discuss with the students their outputs focusing on the elements of drama. And to end the lesson, the teacher together with the students summarizes. The teacher may instruct the students to compose their own story plot using Freytag's pyramid in less than 10 sentences. In episode 3, Janina's cousin, Frank, yours truly, arrives from the U.S. for a vacation. I am a theater major in the U.S. Until Mr. Antonio, the school principal, proposed an offer I cannot refuse. This episode of Carlos's blog also points out the difference between drama as a written form and drama as performed on stage or theater. It also discusses the relationship of the two and how theater is said to be an expression of drama. Also, in this episode, the basic types of drama and types of play are discussed. To start the session, the teacher may post this question. To see the difference, the teacher may ask one volunteer to write a line from his or her favorite movie, while another student will deliver it with gestures and various emotions. This activity would also help the students identify the basic types of drama in theater. Another suggested activity is to ask the students to stand in a circle. They say their names in a normal manner. Then on the second round, they choose a particular person in the group and say his or her name with different emotions while exchanging places within the circle. The teacher can improvise a situation while saying the names so that it can be easier for the students to elicit emotions. The teacher will connect this activity later to show the difference between drama and theater. After the video, 
The teacher may engage the students in a discussion or an activity to further the learning process. Suggested activity is pairing up. Pairing up is where the students find a partner to discuss the difference between a drama and a theatrical performance and the types of drama and play as presented in the episode. The teacher may guide the students with their answers on the difference of drama and theater by asking them to explain the following lines from the episode. Drama relies on a static written word to convey its content. Theater is an expression of drama. The teacher may go back to the previewing activity and summarize everything about the lesson. Dramatist. A dramatist is a writer whose works are full of action. Stage directions, movements, and lines meant to be spoken by stage actors. Dramatist is also referred to as the playwright. The teacher may ask the definition of these terms based on the student's understanding. Tragedy. Comedy. Melodrama. Farce. There are two types of plays. The one act that has one setting with no intermission. And the full length that has different acts which may last from one and a half to three hours. Keep in mind that theater reenacts drama's events and brings its characters to life in a staged space. Thank you for joining me. This has been your Teacher Effectiveness co-teacher, Frank, at your service, and see you again next time.